at the range kata method. So range kata methods are the methods for uh, the numerical solution of the ordinary uh, differential equations. So in this case, uh, uh, we are using them for the ordinary differential equations. Uh, there are uh, two kinds of range kata methods. Uh, so not two, but uh, rather more than two kinds of range kata methods. So we start from the uh, second order range kata methods. And in the second order range kata methods, uh, the formulation can be obtained uh, by the comparison of the Euler's equation uh, with the comparison of the Euler equation with the uh, coefficients of the Taylor series expansion. So the proof is given in the book, but I will not go through the proof. Uh, we will uh, uh, just uh, go to the uh, application. Okay, so in the uh, second order range kata methods, of course, uh, in uh, there are many uh, solutions uh, possible. Uh, one of the possible solution for the range kata method is uh, equivalent to the Heinz uh, Heon's uh, method uh, with a single uh, corrector. So this gives rise to set of equations like this. Uh, y i plus one is equal to y i plus half k one plus half k two times h, where k one is uh, that uh, f function of x and y, which is the uh, given derivative function, and k two is represented in terms of uh, uh, this uh, k one, okay, and x and h, and similarly. Another form of the range kata method is the is equivalent to the uh, midpoint method, in which uh, y i plus one is equal to y i plus k two of h. So in this case, we will first calculate the k one and then k two by incrementing by half of h and half of k one plus h, the respective x and y values. And the third variation is uh, for the range kata methods is the y i plus one is equal to, we take uh, uh, like uh, a two is equal to two by three. So these a one, a two term are the terms in the general uh, solution for the range kata methods. We can take on different values of a two and to find the different forms of the range kata method. So we have uh, in the second order, we have, we can consider three forms, Sion's method, the midpoint method and the Ralston's method, okay? So we can apply this method for the solution of uh, this differential equation, which for we also uh, applied for the Euler's uh, method. So it says that uh, use the midpoint method that is uh, uh, this method okay, to find the uh, midpoint method and the ice uh, and the uh, Ralston's method uh, to numerically uh, integrate equation this. Uh, so in the pro uh, this problem is to use the bitpoint method and the Ralston method to numerically integrate uh, this equation. Okay, so uh, if we need to find it, uh, the range of this is from x is equal to zero to x is equal to four. Uh, e using a step size of 0 0.5. So the initial condition is at x is equal to zero is y is equal to one. Compare the results with the various obtained, uh, with the values obtained using the second order and the method algorithm. Uh, that is the Heinz method without the corrector uh, iteration.
the first Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Yeah, okay. My I think my internet was disconnected before. So I'm trying to go back to this where I was talking. Okay, here. Okay, stop. Uh, it's recording. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, problem. The first step in the midpoint method is to use uh, this equation uh, to find k1 is equal to my uh, this. Okay. So what we can do is we can uh, first uh, uh, we have to, so we have this uh, differential equation. So we will first apply the midpoint method. Uh, then we'll apply the Ralston's method, and then we'll apply the uh, Hearn's method uh, in the Ranjkata format. Okay, so midpoint method is this. The midpoint method is this one. Okay, so we can do it in the uh, Microsoft Excel. So this is the uh, midpoint method. And uh, the equation given is uh, the question given is this okay so the question given is this and then uh, for this question we can set up the uh, table uh, for this so question given is this okay we can set up the table and for how we can set up the table, we can start from the well, the value of H is 0 0.5. So we can use the step size of 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 is the step size X and Y. So the initial given value of X is zero and initial given value of Y is uh, one, okay? So in order to apply this method, uh, we will first uh, calculate this fxy. fxy is this, that is we need to uh, uh, take a derivative of that. So actually this fxy is actually uh, dy over dx. Okay, we have to integrate it. So it, it says that numerically integrated. So it can be either dy over dx differential equation or it can be a given function which we need to integrate. Anyway, so we will put f x y and then uh, we will uh, calculate it. So it is equal to uh, minus two times x power three uh, plus twelve times x square minus twenty times x plus 8.5 is equal to this. So it will be 8.5. So since for the uh, for the application of Ranjkata methods, we need to find k1 and k2. So we will first find k1. k1 is same as fxy. So we will put uh, it like equal to fxy. 
for uh, for k2 we need to find x i plus half h okay so for k2 we need to put uh, find this x i plus half h so it will be uh, uh, x uh, i uh, plus uh, plus half h okay and similarly we also need to find a y i plus 1 by 2 h so x i plus half h is equal to x plus uh, plus uh, half so 1 divided by 2 times h h is here h is here so this is half h so it will be 0 0.25 0 plus half of h which is 0 0.25 and y i is equal to y i plus half h is equal to this y plus a 1 divided by 2 times half of h is this uh, so it will be 1.25 so this will give the value of k2 okay k2 so k2 will be a value of uh, this uh, function at this at these new x and y values so in this case it is only using the x value so here we can then uh, find uh, it is we can just copy it over here Cop control c control v okay so this will calculate the value of k2 so k2 will be calculated based on this these values okay minus two plus this 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 Okay, so now we have the K2. So using the values of K1 and K2, we can find the value. Uh, sorry, of... sorry. Professor. Yes. Yes. Uh, while cal calculating K2, we have to multiply by K1. Why I plus 1 over 2 K1 H? H. Uh, here, this one? Yes. And uh, yes, here also. And yes, correct. Yes, so it is half H uh half k1 h yeah this should be also correct and then uh, the next step should be also correct so it should be corrected so it would be yi plus one divided by two times uh, k1 times h yes and then similarly for k uh, k2 uh we need to uh, uh, k2 we already have calculated right yes so that is okay hmm. so k2 so y1 okay so k2 we have calculated so now uh, for our next increment so we will have uh, this x value plus h so it will be uh, equal to this value plus h okay so it will be 0 0.5 so the, here we, uh, uh, we will have the answer okay in this so our answer will be equal to new value of y is equal to old value of a y and plus k2 k2 is uh, here times h h is here so it will be 3.109375. I have already done this, so let me just check. Yeah, it's correct. So 3.109375. So now we can now uh, find the other values. And uh, we can see that we can now expand it to other values. So it is this. So in this way, we have found out these values. Okay, so one three point one zero nine two point eight one two five. So earlier I already calculated same values two point four eight. Yeah, two point four eight. Yes. So once we have set up these uh, uh, first row and then this value of uh, y over here, you can copy it down to cal uh, calculate the values of. Uh, uh the y for x so the uh so for this means that uh, this is the y value from the um, what method we have used midpoint okay midpoint y midpoint method okay so for this uh, we also can find it uh, 
uh, find the true value as well. So therefore, the true value, the, our solution was this. Okay, so for the true value, our solution was this. Here, this was our solution for the true value, okay? So we can find the y true and y true is equal to uh, minus 0 0.5 times x uh, power 4 uh, plus 4 times x power 3 minus 10 times x power 2 plus 8.5 times x plus 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So uh, these are the uh, true values of this function. So how true values are uh, different from the uh, calculated values? So we can find the percentage true error percentage true error is equal to absolute value. That is for the difference true minus calculated value divided by the true value. So this is the difference. We can represent it in terms of the percentage. So here we can calculate it. So 3.4%, 6.3, 10.6, 12.5. .6, so we get the same the answers as this uh, in the midpoint five method, 3.4, 6.3, 10.6, 12.5, like this. So this is how you can apply the uh, midpoint method. So now uh, if we want to apply the second method, so the second method is the, uh, remember that uh, this question, we have to perform by this uh, midpoint method, the uh, Ralston's method and uh, then Hume's method. So the second, we apply the Ralston's method. And the Ralston's method, the set of equations is this, okay? So we can apply the Ralston's method as well. So in the Ralston's method, I can copy down the set of equations into our spreadsheet over here. Uh, here, okay? So this is the set of equations for the Ralston's method. And uh, now what I can do is I can set up the similar table. So I just have to modify certain values, okay? So maybe I can delete it and then okay. So for the start, we need to apply this value. These are the values given to us, 0, 1. And then these values are, incre x values are incremented by 0 0.5, okay? And uh, the value of the function will be the same as before because we are using the same equation, right? So I can copy it down from the previous case. So the value of the function will be uh, this, okay? K1. K1 is represented by this fxy, so it will be this. And now here in this case, we need to calculate the uh, xi plus three by four h, okay? So it will be different. So this will be different, okay? Xi plus three by four h. And then here it will be uh, three by four uh, k1 h, okay? And then we will calculate K2, Y true, and e, 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 e. So Xi plus 3 by 4H is equal to uh, this X value plus 3 divided by 4 times H. That will be this value. So it will be here. The Yi will be this uh, Y value, okay, uh, plus 3 divided by 4 times uh, K1, which was calculated before, uh, times H, which is here. 
Okay, so this is the yi plus three by four kh. And now we can find the k2 value. So k2 value will be a uh, value of this function. So we can calculate it over here. Uh, now it will be 4.1875, well, it was to 4.2175. So y true value we can calculate later. So now uh, this uh, updated value of y will be calculated by this first equation, y one plus half, one third of k1 plus two third of k2. So it is equal to yi plus uh, bracket one by three times k1. So k1 is here plus two by three times uh, k2. So k2 is here, bracket close, so multiplied by h, h is here. Okay, so this is H is here. Yeah, H is here. So it is 3.8125. Okay, 3.8125. Let me see if I got this answer uh, over here or not. Uh, yeah, I think I'm making some mistake over here. I think you've made a mistake in, in K2. In K2? You K1. You should copy paste F xy fxy yeah okay so i should copy and paste x yeah so x uh, yeah here yes so uh, here i should no oh, you should copy fxy yeah yeah so i can calculate k2 again okay so k2 is uh, so k2 i should copy paste fxy right yes fxy F and then this one, yes. So here copy and then paste is here. Yeah, I made a mistake here and now it is correct. Yeah, 3.27, yeah. So, and the Y true value is uh, as before. And absolute true error is also before. So now you can complete this table and then I can expand it down. So it is now this one. So 3.27, 3.1, 2.34, uh, these are the same values which we obtained in the uh, Ralston's method, okay? The last one was 3.03 .03 with a percentage error of 1%. Uh, where is this? Yeah, okay, so it seems correct now. And now uh, the third method is, uh, the third method is uh, Heon's method, okay? So you can see that uh, the question says, uh, by the uh, midpoint method, Ralston's method, and then compare it with the Heon's method. And Heon's method is the uh, first one in the uh, uh, second order Ranjikata methods. So let me put it down over here. And then let me Uh, write it here. Okay, so for this, uh, we need uh, just uh, delete everything. Only the starting values. Uh, yeah, these will be these will be the same. Okay, maybe these values will change, okay? These values will change. Or well, I think the K2 will also will not change. Okay? K2, these values will change, okay? So here, what we have is, so this will be here. So this will be uh, Ranjkata methods, right? So it is uh, Xi plus one half of uh, K1. And then it is uh, y, no, it is, 
for k2 okay so for k2 we need uh, x i plus h okay so it is x i plus h okay and for uh, it is y i so it will be y i plus uh, k1 h we need to find so x i plus h is equal to uh, x i plus h here and uh, y i is equal to in fact uh, we uh, I don't uh, need to use yi in this case, but anyway, uh, we can calculate it. Yeah, so we have found uh, this one. Okay, so yi plus two. So let me compare with my answer. Yeah, okay, it's going to be correct this time. So now, in this case, uh, we can find the value of y i is equal to uh, y i plus one is equal to y i one plus bracket one half times uh, k one plus one half times k two times h. So it is uh, 3.4375. So now we can just copy it down and then we can see that here uh, the differences are relatively high, but at some point, maybe at number four, specifically the difference is uh, zero over here. So we, we can compare these answers. So for example, we get three, 4.9375, 4.375. So uh, for this first column, yeah, 4.937, 4.375. So you can get the answers and these values. So we can see that if we plot these values uh, for this uh, uh, function, if we plot these values for this function, uh, uh, we can see that uh, the Euler's method is very much different. But the other three Ranje Kata methods, second or three types of Ranje Kata methods, uh, Hume's, Midpoint, and Ralston's are much closer to the true value. So you can see the difference. Okay. Hans method is giving us, uh, sorry, the Euler's method is giving us a big difference. Uh, but uh, Hans, Midpoint, and Ralston's methods are much closer to each other. But we can even uh, make it much closer than these second order methods by applying the third or uh, fourth order, order methods as well. So similarly, there is a third order Ranjikata method. Okay? So in the third order Ranjikata methods is, is the yi plus one, uh, the pre, uh, the predicting equation is y i plus one uh, is equal to y i plus one sixth of k one four k two plus k three. Okay, and uh, the k one and uh, k two are calculated uh, by this equation. So this is a little bit uh, different than the previous one. Uh, however, uh, the most common method and uh, which is used for the uh, Ranjakata method is, is the uh, fourth order Ranjakata method, okay? So this uh, method, okay? So in this fourth order Ranjakata method, we have K1, K2, K3, and K4. And the uh, these functions uh, are relatively uh, quite uh, symmetrically uh, represented over here. So for example, for K1 is same as F of X. For K2, it is, uh, uh, obtained by incrementing by half of h. And similarly, k3 is incremented by, uh, obtained by incrementing by the half of h but, and using the k2. So k1, uh, k2 is used, is using k1. And uh, similarly, the k4 is represent, uh, obtained by incrementing by h. So the formulation is uh, much simpler in this case uh, than compared with the other cases. So 
And let's apply the fourth order method by the same equation on the same equation. So fourth order method, okay? So continuing with this example, so fourth order, uh, order method. So the, for the fourth order, we have these sets of equations. So we have these sets of equations, this one, and this one, and the original equation is this, okay, yeah. Okay, so uh, we are using the same equation. Okay, same data. And then I can copy down the, so in this case, uh, the same, uh, the value of H is same. Okay, the value of H is uh, uh, 0 0.5, okay. So we start from X and Y and F of uh, X, Y, okay, F of X, Y, okay, so X, X was zero, Y was uh, one as before. So for, because these were the initial conditions, okay, these were the initial conditions. Okay, so f of x, y will be calculated uh, like before. So for example, if I take it like this, so f of x, y will be this. Okay, so what will be k1? k1 is same as f of x, y. So I will take this. So for k2, uh, I will need to take uh, x, i plus half of h. So x, i plus one by two of h, okay, x i plus one by two of h. Uh, in this case, since uh, 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 actually there, uh, in this function of x and y, uh, there is no y involved. So it, it is immaterial whether we will calculate y i plus half h or uh, not, okay. So, but anyway, for the method, we, we need to calculate so y i plus one by two uh, k one of h. Okay, so it will be this. so x i plus half of h it will be equal to x plus one by two times h is this one, and y i will be equal to uh, y i plus uh, one plus one by two. Uh, times k1 times h is this. So the k2 value will be then, k2 value will be then uh, from, from f of x1 value. So it will be here. So it will be 4.218. Now, next we will need to calculate for k3. So it will be xi plus half of h. So I think it's same. Xi plus half of H. And then it will be Yi plus. So we can say it as it is K2H, okay? So it will be equal to Xi plus one by two times H. Okay, and then yi is equal to yi plus one by two times k2 times h is this. Yeah, okay. So this will give us k3. So k3 will be likewise uh, as we calculated for this. Uh, then we can calculate copy and paste k3 
will be here. Okay, and then for K4, we need to calculate Xi plus H and then Yi plus H. Okay, so it will be equal to X plus H. So it will be this is equal to Xi plus And y i plus uh, y i plus k three of h. Okay, this is y i plus. Sorry, so it is y i i plus k three of h. So it is equal to y i plus k three times h. So it is this. So this will give us k four. So k four will be equal to uh, we can copy and paste from K3 because it will now use these new values. So it will be 1.24. So based on this now for the next value of X, zero plus the increment, which is 0 0.5, which is this. So now we can apply this uh, formula. Okay, this from YI plus one by six K1 plus two K2 plus two K3 plus K4 times H. So it is equal to yi, which is this, plus one by six uh, times k1. So k1 is uh, this, plus two times k2, k2 is this, uh, plus two times k3, k3 is this, plus k4, is this bracket close multiplied by h h is here so this will be 3.21875 and now we can calculate these equations okay so so here we can see that uh, now we can find the true value why true so y true is you can find by this equation. So for the true, we have this uh, equation, right? We cannot use the previous formulas for uh, for the Excel over here because uh, we have changed this number of columns. So we need to. I need to enter it again. So it will be uh, minus equal to uh, minus uh, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 times x power 4 uh, plus 4 times x power 3 minus 10 times x square plus 8.5 times x plus one is equal to, so this will be one. And the percentage true error will be, the percentage true error will be the absolute value is equal to the absolute value difference by true minus y, uh, divided by y true, so it will be zero. We can represent it in terms of the percentage. It will be like this. But here you can see that we got an exact match. Can you see that we can got uh, we got an exact match with the true value three point two one eight seven five. It's because we are integrating a, a third order polynomial okay and with the fourth order uh, polynomial solution so since this rank kata method fourth order rank kata method it is a fourth order rank kata method so it is using a fourth order uh, approximation uh, for the method so therefore we are go uh, we are getting an exact solution okay so if we just expand it over here, 
for all the values up uh, for all the values we will get exact solution so you see that the true error is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 everywhere so in this case uh, so this method uh, ranch kata method the fourth other other method is uh, much more accurate than the second and uh, even uh, we did not try the third one uh, third second or third order methods okay so so here we have a scene like that and similarly we can also uh, apply it for the other uh, function so 4 into e power 0 0.8 x minus 0 0.5 uh, y okay uh, the uh, part b of this example uh, for exponent 0 0.8 x minus 0 0.5 y using h is equal to 0 0.5 and y 0 is equal to 2 from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 0 0.5 so in this case uh, we can also get a very close answer uh, so in this case what you can see is over here i have done it here here so in this case i have done it over here so this was the uh, equation that means this was the equation so x for x is equal to 0 y was equal to 2 and we i repeated this process over here by the same approach over here and in this case you can see that uh, for the first calculated value for x is equal to 0 0.5 uh, the value of the y the value of the solution was 3.75 but uh, from the true solution which is given uh, which is given by this equation that means for this uh, in, in fact we have already uh, done this uh, question for the improvement in the uh, ranjkata methods uh, this one uh, we have used this uh, equation before and over there the uh, errors were much higher but in this case the true value is 3.7515. The predicted value is 3.7516. So the percentage difference is, on, uh, is very uh, small. It is only 0 0.00475. And you can see that the percentage difference are all in the uh, third, uh, yeah, third significant digit of the uh, magnitude, okay? So that means we are getting a very accurate results even for this exponential case as well. Even for the exponential case, we are getting very exp uh, accurate results. So what we can see, maybe for higher values, let's see what are the results we got. Yeah, you can see that even for very high values, uh, the results are very accurate although the results are a little bit deteriorating from 0 0.004 to it is 0 0.008 but they are still quite accurate so uh, so in order to predict uh, the value of y at some very higher values maybe for more accuracy or in, in this method maybe we can apply the smaller uh, step size uh, as well mm. Okay. So, but you can see that the fourth order range kata method is quite uh, accurate. So, uh, since I did it uh, for this uh, equation, I did not repeat it for uh, this equation, but you can easily uh, do it in the uh, Microsoft Excel by any type of equation. Okay, by any type of equation. So, Range uh, uh, fourth order range kata method is quite uh, accurate and it's uh, quite close to the true solution. So th there are other uh, higher order range kata methods as well. Uh, so for example, uh, the method uh, uh, called butcher's method. So it is a fifth order range kata method. But uh, note that in this uh, fifth order uh, range kata methods, there are uh, six k coefficients. Okay, 
Uh, in the fourth order Aranjika uh, matrix, there were four coefficients, k, four k values. But in the fifth order Aranjika uh, matrix, there are uh, six k values. So we need to calculate these k values by this. So uh, we can compare various uh, math types of Ranjkata methods. And then here in this example, the comparison has been given. I think we need to, in order to generate this graph, we need to do a lot of uh, calculations for which we don't have time, but we can just see that Euler's method is, for example, giving a, a relative percentage error of something like between one and 100, okay? Whereas the uh, Hyun's method reduces this error. Ranjkata second, uh, third uh, degree method reduces this error for the Ranjkata fourth or degree uh, method also reduces the percentage relative method. And the Butcher's method is the most accurate. But with the uh, amount of effort, that means the number of uh, uh, steps are increased the f uh, the accuracy also increases but beyond some certain effort uh, the curves start to become uh, like uh, stabilize and do not change much so uh, some at some uh, leading values so the curves can reach some tapering points so for example we can see in a, a lot of observations from here so this inspection of this uh, figure 25.16 uh, uh, leads to a number of conclusions. First, that the higher order methods attain better accuracy for the same computational effort. And second, that the gain in accuracy for the additional effort leads to diminish after a point. So you can see that the curves start to become horizontal at after certain efforts. Earlier, the uh, uh, Decrease in error is much faster, but later on the decrease in error is uh, much uh, slower in this type of methods. Okay, so uh, these were the uh, Ranjkata methods. So our next topic will be the system of equations. And then uh, there will be this uh, adaptation uh, uh, methods as well. Let me just, uh, yeah, adaptive Ranjkata methods. So we have two subtopics left in this uh, lecture. So maybe we will take, like we will try to finish maybe in the next uh, class on uh, Friday, okay, this topic. And then in the last week we can have